Hey, what's up? This is Ricky Reed. And Novena Carmel. From Wallpaper, and you're watching Groovy TV. Ow! Would you like more dancing? No <laughs> Just this. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Wallpaper at the Denver Vans Warp Tour. How the heck are you guys? Oh, so, so... Feeling groovy. So hecka good. <laughs> Feeling it out here. Loving it today. Right on. So the tour been treating you guys pretty well? Yeah, it's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, kind of grueling, but fun too. Yeah, you, yeah, you have to understand, we've been in a 110 degrees plus for the last four days, yeah. so this is a breath of very, very yeah. fresh, mile-high air. How hot was it when you were in Vegas? 117. Yeah, yeah. And if you see our live show, you know that that is unacceptable. <laughs> That's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. Were you guys like, like, oh, God, you'll be off the stage, get it out? Yeah, oh, we, we're, we're trying to do a rain dance. Our whole set was one... <laughs> Half hour long rain dance, That's really right? what it was, yeah. I was kind of like hibernating all day in the air conditioning too. Yeah. And just had kind of like a catheter of water. Yep. Or yep. Not, what, not a catheter. What do they call it? A fucking IV. IV. Sorry, yeah, not a yeah. catheter. That's yeah. kind of scary. I probably needed a catheter on stage. A catheter is what goes <laughs> into your pee hole. Out. That goes I'll, out. Sorry. It's, I'm still recovering. <laughs> I'm sorting this all out as we go. <laughs> That's it. Now we know the difference between a catheter and an IV. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, learn something new every day with us. <laughs> yeah. Now, what do you guys got going on release-wise and album-wise? Ooh, uh, new album's called Ricky Reed is Real. It drops July 23rd. So when we're in Kansas City, I think, it comes out. It's also my birthday. Ooh, happy birthday. Thank you. So, uh, as mentioned, pre-interview, we'll be consuming copious amounts of Jameson and probably Ginger Snaps, too. <laughs> A proper celebration. Via IV. Yeah, I mean, Jameson via catheter. <laughs> that even makes sense. That's the new way to get drunk. Yeah, exactly. You're inventing new ways. Yeah, yeah. Just shoot it square into my pee hole. Four for four. <laughs> oh man, that that one's that one's good. <laughs> All day, we got him. No, after warp tour, what's going on? After Warp Tour, I mean, all the bands we're meeting here, we're just probably gonna go on tour with one of these guys. Yeah. It's a really natural process, like day to day. You see someone play, you eat lunch with them, you hang out, you barbecue, party with them. And then it's like, what are you guys doing in August? What are you guys doing in September? Yeah, let's put our booking agents together and get on the road. Nice. Yeah. It's fun. So the Warp Tour is more than just summer camp? Well, it is summer camp, <laughs> but it is more. I mean, I, but I think also, Summer camp itself is more than summer camp, right? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What do you mean? <laughs> well, like, memories and nostalgia and, and, right. and people making new friends, people making new enemies, falling in love, you know. Naked volleyball. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like on Nickelodeon, they'd have those, those like, summer camp type shows, but they'd make them do obstacle courses and stuff like that. Yeah. That's kind of like what it's like. Oh, yeah. Like if that was that summer camp for real. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the pure number of people that are on this tour, there will be at least one baby conceived on Warp Tour. <laughs> it can't not happen. It's just probability. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think it's very possible. It might be me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Who's, who's the, I was going to say, who's the dad, but who's the mother? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Inception. <laughs> Immaculate. It's, it's, I think it's called, uh... Miller or Pabst? I think it's Pabst. I don't remember his name. <laughs> the son, the father, the holy Pabst. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, we've reached the part of the interview where I ask you a bunch of stupid questions. Are you ready? Rod, we're so ready. You mean it's going to get stupid now? <laughs> it's gonna... so smart already. <laughs> it's so smart the whole time. <laughs> stupid and weird. Okay. How many extremely angry but unarmed four-year-olds would it take to kick your ass 
Extremely angry but unarmed 40 year olds. Do you want to? Four-year-old. Oh, four-year-old. Oh, you said 40 also. This is a crazy question because I have a question with my friends that's much more gruesome but is a very similar idea. <laughs> um, but how many, okay, four-year-olds, I would say probably about somewhere around a hundred of them. What? No, Three somewhere around a hundred. Yeah, somewhere around a hundred. Because cause you could use techniques, if we're talking about battling four-year-olds, there's ways that you could use them against each other. I don't you know, have, they've got those sharp baby teeth. <laughs> you have to keep a wide radius. You have to actually, once you took one out, you have to use it as a device to keep a radius around you, and then you keep widening it. The question it. is too, like, are you allowed to injure them? Like, isn't there some sort it's of... It's life and death. It's you can't hurt a four-year-old, can you? Yeah. No, well, you have to in this situation. <laughs> you know the, the movie that's out, World War Z? Yeah. Now, just imagine if it was World War four-year-olds. Oh, World so War. they're zombies. No, no, they're toddlers, or whatever they are. But I'm just saying there's that many of them. Like, it's serious. They're not the undead. They're Does the that un actually happened to you? <laughs> Sounds like it. Um, I have a joke. They're not the undead. They're the unfed. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> High-fiving people. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, one more. Are you ready? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Between the numbers of 1 and 100, how many times does the number 9 appear? Um, oh, give me a second. 10. 11. Uh, wait, I almost got it. Eighteen? Oh, so close! Or seventeen? Oh, damn! Twelve. Twelve times! I don't know. Twenty. Twenty times, damn. You probably forgot ninety-nine or something. Yeah, I must have forgot ninety-nine. You gotta do all of them, then you gotta do ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four. Oh, right. Duh. Ah. Well played, well right. played. No one, no one ever gets that right, by the way. Oh, that's <laughs> Right on. So thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Best interview. Yeah. <laughs> if someone ever asked me that again, now I'm going to know. Yeah. Yeah. And you can play that prank on people later. I can. At the barbecue and everyone's drunk. You get a little cocktail party trick. Okay. I'm going to go do that and ring up some angry four-year-olds, too. <laughs> Let's do How it. How many angry four-year-olds are there between one and 100? Yeah. <laughs> can, we, can we actually get this on Mythbusters, you think? <laughs> can we assemble 100? Anyway. Thanks for having me. <laughs> hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Wallpaper. Denver Vans Warped Tour. Rock out!